Good morning, this is Adam Sweet. Today I'm going to do a series of fiddle lesson videos for the Sweet Music Studio uh, YouTube channel. And today I want to start with just a brief discussion about what is the difference between a violin and a fiddle. What is a fiddle and what is fiddling, right? These are all topics that everybody has heard. So let's get started. Uh, this is a violin. Violins were invented originally in Africa, Northern Africa, and made their way into uh, Europe around the 15th, 16th century. They uh, eventually settled, I guess you could say, in Italy, where uh, Amadi, who was a, a really great violin maker, made um, the first uh, violin in this shape. Originally, uh, violins were in a slightly different shape, um, but the, the similarities between the African-made vi violins and the Italian-made violins is that there are no frets. And uh, at that time, there were very popular instruments uh, being played by courtiers and people uh, who were associated with the court called viols, V-I-O-L. Um, but those instruments had frets. Um, uh, I'll, even though they were movable frets, they were still frets on the instrument. Uh, there was the uh, viola da gamba, which uh, just means vial of the leg, gamba being the leg. Viola da more, which just means uh, vi vial close to the heart. It was played like this, um, and so on. So Amadi uh, made the first real violin, which is uh, the African uh, instrument with no frets, but with a uh, vial shape. And uh, I'm told that the original uh, instrument that he made had only three strings, um, but eventually uh, became four strings. And um, there's a really wonderful book that you can read, uh, and it's just called Violin. It's about the history of the violin. I highly recommend it to anybody who's learning how to play the violin or the fiddle. So um, this is the instrument, the violin. Uh, the difference between a violin and a fiddle is just attitude. <laughs> That's what I tell everybody. Um, there is really no such thing as a fiddle, I guess you could say. Um, the, uh, the fiddle is the same as the violin. So, what is a fiddle? Well, a fiddle is uh, really how you play a violin in certain musical styles. So, for example, if you play Celtic music, traditional Celtic music, or traditional Irish, or traditional Scottish, or um, Americana, old-timey music, whatever, um, you're going to be fiddling on the violin, and the shortcut to that is just to call it a fiddle. And what's the difference between fiddling and playing the violin? Well, uh, in classical music, we refer to this instrument as the violin. Uh, because uh, of some old standard methods or uh, ways of referring to the instrument. Um, so what are some examples of fiddling styles? So some good examples of fiddling styles are any of the traditional dance forms or dances from uh, Western Europe. Now, some people call the this Celtic music, some people call it traditional Irish, some people call it Scottish, whatever you want to call it, it's the dance form, so the traditional dance music from that western part of Europe, which includes Ireland, uh, Scotland, Wales, England, France, uh, Spain, uh, and then uh, continuing across the Atlantic, uh, Canadian music like Ke uh, Quebecois, for example, uh, Cape Breton, Newfoundland, uh, and then of course New England, and then later uh, uh, old time music from the South. So 
I hope this doesn't sound too vague. Let me give you uh, an example of a couple different fiddling styles. Um, I'll give you an example of a Celtic fiddling style um, with a tune called um, uh, Coleraine. This is uh, in 6-8, which is a jig, and jigs are a type of dance, uh, and you would just refer to it as a jig form, uh, and it sounds like this. That's an example of a Celtic um, dance form called a jig. Uh, let me give you an example of a Celtic dance form called a reel. Um, and this is uh, a play one uh, called Cooley's Reel or sometimes called Joe Cooley's. Cooley, Joe Cooley was not a fiddler, he was a accordion player. He was very popular in Ireland in the 1950s and eventually made his way over to America in the 60s and settled there and that's where he passed. Um, but he's very was a very well-known musician at the time and, uh, and hence the name Joe, uh, Joe Cooley's or Cooley's Reel. Um, let me give you an example of uh, a tune that became an American tune um, probably has Celtic origins um, and also has words. It's called Angeline the Baker. Angeline the Baker. Uh, let me see, I'll give you another example of, a, of an American tune. Um, this one definitely came from Europe uh, and there, there's a rumor that it started, it was started by a composer named uh, Schubert, but I don't know if that's true or not. It's called Red Wing. Um, <laughs> Uh, let me give you an example of another American tune that's probably originally written in America. Um, it's a type of a tune, uh, a style that was that originated in the United States called ragtime. Um, now I'm going to play it in a style of fiddling called Texas fiddling style, and the tune is called Ragtime Annie. <laughs>
so that w tune was probably written in the United States. Um, let's see, I think that's a good place to stop. Oh, oh uh, do one more style. Now, um, I'm going to play what's called a waltz. And waltzes came originally from Austria and Germany. Um, and they were popularized in uh, the British Isles in the 1930s uh, and came over to America about the same time, 1920s, 1930s, um, and became very popular there. Uh, fiddle players love to play waltzes. They, they seem to be made uh, just for uh, the fiddle. I don't know why. Something about, you know, how the long bow strokes and lots of vibrato and being able to use uh, double stops. These are all techniques, by the way, that I'll, I want to teach you how to do. Okay, um, so the waltz I'm going to play is one I learned when I was a kid called the country waltz. In another video, I'm going to go over some uh, popular fiddle books that you can get where you can learn how to play all these tunes and other ones just like it. Um, if you have any questions at all about any of these subjects or any of the other fiddle topics, um, don't hesitate to reach out to me. You can uh, contact me through my website. All the links will be in the description below. Thank you very much for watching this video, and I hope you have a great day.